Hi guys, it's Nicole here with Mommy Sips by Cole. I'm back to do another weight loss update video. I have been so behind on getting this up for you to get this up before the month was over. And just to update you on everything that I've been doing, what's working for me, what's not working for me, and to also share with you what my current weight is at the end of the video. I never mentioned in my last update that my overall goal would be to lose 25 pounds. Ideally, 25 to lose 25 pounds from where I was at at the highest I've been in a long time, 152 when I started this whole journey. If I can get down to 125, it would be perfect because that is like a size 4 for me. When the last time that I weighed that, um, about 6 years or 7 years ago, um, to be size 4 again, to bring up those pants that I have like in boxes in the basement would be like, oh, would be just like my ideal weight. Especially being that I'm under five feet tall, um, yeah, my weight now is not where it should Overall, be. All I have always been like, I've always had meat on me. If there's lack of a better word, I've always had meat on me. And then as I got older, I, you know, got curvy. I don't mind the extra curves, and I don't think my husband minds it either. I'm not trying to get like really skinny, skinny, skinny. I just want to get to a healthy weight, and above all that, just to live a healthier lifestyle. That is the whole purpose of this journey. I'm not trying to go on any kind of fad diets or have this be something temporary to just change my eating and change all of, to put all this hard work into it to just get too close to my goal weight or to my goal weight and then just fall off and go completely revert back to what how I was eating before, which was not healthy. So, with that said, I want to just update you on what's working for me as far as, let's start with like food and like healthy eating. So, this has been like my best friend. Um, I've been drinking, this is a 20 ounce bottle, I believe. Yeah, a 20 ounce bottle. I drink at least one and a half of these every day, or I try to. If I can get through one whole um, bottle of this, then I'm good. If I can drink more than that, it's even better. And also, aside from that, in my coffee mug is my green tea. I've been sick, so I've been drinking green tea with um, honey and lemon, and that has been my other intake of water. Aside from my liquid intake, I got a juicer, or actually I will call it a new blender. I got the Ninja, if you follow me on my Instagram or whatnot, I posted a picture there, or a couple of pictures. Um, I was debating to get a juicer juicer or a new blender and I decided on a blender I th thought that it would fit better with our overall lifestyle as far as things that I make not only for me but for the kids and this particular blender is like a three-in-one. It juices, juices to the point meaning that it does keep all the fibers in but it blends it like really well and fine so that it's like juice. Um, it juices, it blends, and it's also a food processor. So three in one, can't beat that. Um, I've been trying to do a lot of different like smoothies, but throwing in greens. Um, if you follow me again on Instagram or Facebook, I'm always posting pictures there. So that's a way to like keep up with what like things that I'm putting into my body, and not only me, but I'm trying to incorporate everything I'm doing, the choices that I'm making health-wise. Um, for my entire family, for myself and the kids and my husband. So aside from juicing, just eating clean. Clean meaning like we are trying our best to stay away from processed food, although sometimes it doesn't always happen that way if we go out and just indulge once in a while, which I think is completely realistic. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say that um, I eat clean 24-7 because I don't. I, this is a journey. It took me this long to get to this point to finally want to change. I can't expect myself to just change in a snap of a finger. So it's just a gradual process. And as far as eating healthier, I'm just eating a lot, a lot of chicken, um, fish, um, shrimp occasionally. I've given up red meat or beef and pork. I've given up for the entire Lent season. Um, so I think since I've given that up, I don't think I'll be eating as much of it as I used to before. So I've been eating a lot of chicken, um, staying away from pasta. If I do have pasta, being having tried, we've tried whole grain. Um, I'm eating whole wheat bread if I do eat bread, even for the kids. Um, 
whole wheat tortillas, if we make like chicken quesadillas or wraps or whatnot. Staying away from white rice as much as I can. I give it to the kids and make it for my husband still, but I try my best to stay away from it. I have had it on occasion, um, but for the most part, I don't eat rice anymore. And being Filipino, we eat rice like three times a day, or at least in the Philippines they do. And so it's just been... I'm used to it. At this point, I'm used to it. Honestly, all these ways, this new way of me eating healthier, like I eat a lot of things with salads. You will see from a lot of pictures that I even like as far as breakfast, I'll make like egg white omelets or I'll add one whole egg in it and then I add spinach and vegetables in with the omelet. So that's another way like I get my intake of vegetables and I'm always having fruits and just healthy snacks. So overall, I'm eating so, so much healthier. I see a big difference in the choices that I'm making. So that was the whole goal of me trying to eat healthier, uh, was to just make better choices, for it to be natural. So in the morning, instead of just um, like toasting some white bread with cream cheese, I will take the time to make a quick egg white omelet and add some veggies in it. and. To be honest, it doesn't take that long. It, it's really fast. It's just what may seem inconvenient or what seemed inconvenient to me at the time is now just natural. That I just, it really is about making better choices as far as what you're buying at the grocery stores, um, as far as what you're making for your meals. And m majority of the time, I'm always cooking my food at home. And when we do go out, it's only when my husband's off. And even then, I try my best to make healthy choices as far as what I'm ordering. Um, but will have an occasion or treat myself to something that I love on occasion. I've posted a few grocery hauls um, within the past two months. From, once from Trader Joe's, a couple times from Asian Market, Costco, and I guess the regular grocery. Did I ever show a regular grocery trip? Um, but for the most part... You will see from those videos what we're buying and I'll continue to share some videos if you're interested. Another thing that another video that I did recently, I'll link it down below what was uh, meals of the week. So some of you requested that I share meals of the week and I was previously sharing them in our weekly vlogs. I would just show what we're eating. Um, but now I made a separate video and I'm gonna have another one. I had a uh, really good feedback on that video and it seems like you guys are getting some ideas from that and I I would love to help. I mean, I also love getting ideas from you guys, whatever inputs you have. Um, but it's really great to hear that you guys are getting some ideas from just that one video of Meals for the Week. So I, ha I do have more things to share with you. So I'll keep doing that occasionally. One big thing that has helped me as far as my eating or trick um, is to use a small plate, a dessert plate. If you look at some of the pictures that I've ever posted, it's always on a plate like this. Um, and this helps me with portion control. So that's a really great um, trick that I've been doing ever since I've started this journey. And also not to eat until you're really full. Like I'll eat this, this. I'll eat whatever's on my plate and that's enough. I won't be overly full like, oh my gosh, I'm so full. No, I'll be content and that will be enough. And in between, of course, you snack. Whatever that you have there that's healthy, it's really good to snack in between your your meal, your regular meals of Another the day. great tip is to uh, follow different pages on Instagram or maybe even ideas on Pinterest because sometimes it's easy to, you know, not ha to run out of ideas as far as what you can eat. You we like variety and you naturally we get bored easily and I know I do so I follow some people on Instagram that I feel inspired by maybe that they share their meals or their journeys and when I see them post stuff I think oh I can try that I want to try that or maybe Pinterest is another great place to find healthy meal ideas or just anywhere uh, online pretty much. great way to stay motivated is to follow other people's journeys that um, are also here on YouTube and I have a list um, links of some friends that I love that I follow that are on similar journeys or maybe that they just love to share you know some things that work for them health wise so check out their links down below because you will get more inspiration from them so I find that 
very helpful for me to follow other people because on days where you feel like oh you know you want to give up or like you know you have that weak moment where you want to eat that donut or whatever if you see other people you follow whether it's on YouTube Instagram or wherever um, that will that kind of helps me stay motivated another thing I mentioned this before but my fitness pal on the iPhone I'm not sure if this is on Android too but this has been such a great uh, tool um, it shows here that I've logged on now for 65 days in a row and a lot of you guys are friends with me on here and follow me at Nick 3 Cole I'll leave the name down below and add me as a friend on there because I love conversing with you guys on there and just for all of us to keep each other motivated and on track um, I use this more as a diary for myself to log you know what I'm eating every now, day exercising is my vice and I told you guys this before I've been trying to do or more so this is what I've been trying to do trying um, trying is um, not really a good word because I have not been trying enough um, I did this a couple of times since my last update which is awful I know and I need you guys to like kick me in the butt with this as far as like doing these workouts daily or at least three my goal would be three to four times a week at least to start with doing um, the Jillian Michaels DVDs I've been sick for the past like week and a half so that's I guess that's my excuse why I haven't been doing it but even before then I was just doing it very sporadically and really disappointed in myself that I have not been able to stick with it. Um, I really don't have any excuses to be honest. It's just pure laziness and I need to like get on the bandwagon and I know that I said this before that I really want to focus on uh, working out now. Um, I said earlier that my main goal in the beginning was to focus on how I was eating and just making healthier choices and now that I've pretty much got that down pack I need to step it up and you know work out because I know that I would be progressing so much more if I would be doing this at least a couple times a week so huh, that's my so goals. now moving on to where I'm at today um, my last update I was at 145 I believe in the middle of February and I have not lost nearly as much as I wanted to uh, because of a couple humps in the road or bumps in the road um, where I kind of lost motivation or um, I was still eating healthy but I just don't know what it was I just was not losing the weight and I think the reason why was because I'm not working out but at least I did lose something so something is better than nothing because that something is at least progress it's a few more pounds away off from where I was so currently now I'm at 141 nearly 141 and I cannot wait to get into the 130 so overall my weight loss has been 11 pounds so 11 pounds I think that is a lot <laughs> for me that sounds like a lot but Physically, when I look in the mirror, I wish it could be more. So that's where I'm at today. Uh, I'm hoping by next month's update, I will, not hope, I will be in my 130s. And yeah, so just stick with me and let me know um, if this was helpful in any way. I'm no health um, expert or nothing. I'm still learning. This is a journey and I'm just sharing it with you guys and just love hearing your feedback and just you guys your motivation you guys you guys motivate so me please stay with me on this journey and hold me accountable and just check on me and be like hey where's your update or what are you doing now or and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and my fitness pal and you know we'll just stay with this journey together and get to our goals a lot faster and that's it. This is really, really long, and I hope that this was helpful, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!